Many of you uh, are aware, I used to uh, produce a little show called Zaslow, Romberg, and Amber in the morning. And, uh, you know, when when times had changed, you know, we left them in the dust. And, uh, you know, they get to get up a little bit later. They do their show now at 10 a.m. And, uh, you know, we do this show now morning drive, baby. That's how we roll. And, you know, these, they, they, they've, been, they've been crying about it ever since. They, they claim sabotage. Oh, Tobin set us up. He stole the morning show from us. Ooh. You know, and, and I would think, you know, I would like to think better of Zaslow, a guy who, who I, I'd been at his side for for so many years, producing him back when it was just me and him at night. And uh, we'd sit there those those days talking after Marlins games or or whatnot. So this was adorable yesterday, Leroy. I'm getting uh, I'm getting some bat signals yesterday. You know, people always let me know. I, I'm like, uh, I'm like, I'm like Varys. I got those little birds out there, always watching. <laughs> little birds. I got. I'm surprised nobody has clipped them yet. Him or Littlefinger. Holy smokes, man! And uh, hey, Littlefinger, stop trying to put your lips on everybody. He in love with everybody. Yeah. Well, listen. Yesterday, I I, I get word. That they're talking about me on this on this uh, show, Zaslow and Jethro. You know, I'll really? give them a plug. I'll give them a plug. Ten to two every day. Uh, listen if you please, or just you know download our podcast and listen to that for four hours, whatever. Um, Zaslow has the audacity, oh, the audacity to say I am being a bandwagon Goran Dragic fan. Ah, uh-uh, not only that has the audacity to say he came up with the take that we should appreciate Goran Dragic more, which is hilarious. Hilarious. Oh, this is just popping in your head now? Funny. It's almost like you, you, you heard that when I, when I was producing your radio show back in the day. Hilarious. But this is what he likes to do. You know, he likes to, he likes to try and bring up, bring up stuff, try, try and taint the, uh, the jury. So he goes, I remember back in the day that Tobin wrote a song for, for Goran Dragic when he wasn't doing so good called Goran the Tragic Dragon to the song Puff the Magic Dragon. Now, listen, <laughs> listen, we don't have to bring up old stuff, but if you want to bring up old stuff, we can bring up old stuff. I did write a song, Leroy, back in the day called Goran the Tra- Tragic Dragon. Of course. Of course, he was sticking up the joint. You know, this isn't a this isn't a free ride being being a, a, a player that I root for. If you're stinking up the joint, which Goran Dragic was at that point, I'm going to write a song because a lot of the times I express my frustration in song, Leroy. But listen to these two yahoos yesterday, Zazlo and Jethro in the morning, try and slander my good name as, as they say, I am not a true Goran Dragic fan. Tobin earlier today is, I mean, just professing his love for Goran. You, you, you would think that nobody loves Goran Dragic more than Tobin does. Tobin penned a song called Goran the Tragic Dragon, okay? And it was to the tune of Puff the Magic Dragon. But this was Goran the Tragic Dragon, all right? Obviously, if you can't tell by the name of the song, it wasn't flattering, okay? He's telling you this morning as if he's Goran Dragic's biggest fan. You're always getting on me, you know, why do you give Tobin all the crap that you give Tobin? And it's like, because this is classic Tobin. And by the way, it's very this is just continues to catapult him to the higher levels. And he takes everyone's jobs and he takes everyone's spot on the radio. And all this guy does is get out there with the zany, crazy takes. It's and it's all, they're always very negative. And then they're always very positive. And then he takes all the credit when he ends up uh, being right. But by the way, he's often wrong. And no one ever holds him accountable for all the times Tobin's Hold been on. wrong. Everyone just thinks Tobin's this big talent, just stealing morning shows, just getting out there and... And being right about things. And he's not right about things. Eating crow is not the only time he was wrong. Not the only time. I mean, he also hated Jimmy Butler at one point and said that uh, it was a blessing in disguise that we didn't get Jimmy and that Jimmy didn't come to Miami. And and he railed against Jimmy Butler. And now he's also (laughs) Jimmy Butler's biggest fan. (laughs) 
Never said that. <laughs> hey. Although it has been a joy covering Jimmy Butler this year. Never said that. I said we may have dodged a bullet when the uh, the Brett Brown Jimmy Butler uh, fiasco and reports were going down. But then we got Jimmy Butler's side of the story, and it turns out it was just Brett Brown's fault. But uh, you know, this is you know this is what, this is what you got. You got a couple a couple of salty dogs doing a show from 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 ten to two. You know, uh, they, they don't they don't like to see you shine, Leroy. You know, they like to see, they, they they see they see they see someone going bright, and what do they want to be? They want to be a cloud on a sunny day. No, no, don't try to drag my name into it by throwing me a bone. So I take your side. Nice try. No, I'm hip it, to your game. What? Oh, so so you're gonna stick? You're gonna you're gonna stick with these two? These no. two jokers? No, not no, not at all. But I'm not gonna let you. Try to get some support. We're not, yeah. Hey, what am I supposed to do? Oh, okay. So let me get this straight. I'm not, I'm not uh, supposed to go out there and, and write songs about Goran Dragic when he's playing terrible. By the way, mind you, you want to know who called out Goran Dragic that year? All right, Pat Riley called out Goran Dragic that year. You don't think Pat Riley loves Goran Dragic? Pat Riley is also does? paying him. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. When it comes to accountability and dependability, he said, and I remember this distinctly after that year. Pat Riley said about Gogi, he said, no more excuses. Okay. He talked about the Euro stuff, the moving down here, all the stress. No more excuses for Go on Dragons. Called him out. And by the way, it worked. You want to know why? Pat Riley, master motivator. Master motivator. Here's another thing that's adorable with these two. If I did, let, I, I don't remember all the details of writing this song, Leroy. This 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 uh, this, this uh, poem, if you will, for for Gore on Dragon, Gore on the tra- Tragic Dragon. But you mind you, I was the producer of the morning show at the time. If this ancient history was written, wasn't even hosting middays. And here's the thing that's adorable about it: if I if I did write such a song, Leroy, and I don't know if I did, maybe I did. If I did write such a song, I probably was taking orders from Jonathan Zaslow. Who probably was ripping Goran Dragic because a lot of the times as a producer, Leroy, you echo the sentiments of the host. So most likely, <laughs> if I did write a song, Goran the Tragic Dragon, which I don't know or remember if I did, uh, it, it's probable that Jonathan Zaslow was probably ripping Goran Dragic at the time. And so we were just having a little comedic fun. Did me and Slim Photoshop him as a tiny dragon that was sad? Maybe. Maybe we did. But that's neither here nor there. The real thing is, what you can't stand is, you like to act like, oh, I'm, I'm new to the party. We should appreciate Goran Dragic. Bruh, we done been at that party. All right? Goran Dragic and I, we have moments. All right? Who does uh, an annual sit-down with Goran Dragic at Media Day, Leroy? You. Yeah, yeah. This show right here. All right, so now that you want to be new to the uh, Johnny Come Lately's to the Dragon Party, like you're Khaleesi, I'm the real father of dragons, Zazlo. Okay, Gogi and I, we love each other. That's just that. If I called him out some some hard times, that's just me being a guy who's who's what's called credible. And and Amber likes to sit here. But Tobin's not credible. He flip flops this and he flip flops that. Mind you, Leroy, who have been the two shining stars in the Miami Heat this year? Who are the two young breakout stars in the Miami Heat this year? Bam and Tyler. Oh, and? Duncan and Tyler. Now, now, correct me if I'm wrong. I may be crazy here, but who who built the Bam wagon? All right, who gave Duncan Robinson his first nicknames? Oh, 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 that's right. This guy right here. So. The guy who's always first to the party. Now you want to act like I'm last to the Goran Dragic party? How dare you, sir and ma'am? And and the other thing, Leroy, did, did I did I did I try and take a, a big whiz on Amber's shine when she went on Golik and Wingo this week? That she did I call her a backstabber for going on our competition this week? No, no, I just let that Jethro she's shine. Never came, she's never come on our show. Never come on our show. Not that I let her. Uh, I would, I would Wait, never. Who, ha- who has to cover for her? Who has to cover for her? How many times? Let me ask you something, Leroy. How many times right. have I covered for Amber <laughs> Wilson over the years? Over the years where, oh, can you just stay a little extra five minutes? Oh, can you say? They asked me to stay by standby the other day because her fiancé, uh, soccer boy Wilson, didn't know how much gas was in his boat. So now these two 
want to take a want to want to want to sully my good name. Uh uh-uh. uh, that ain't how it's gonna roll, Jack. Texter chimes in. They clearly peacock pirate hunters. <laughs> Couple of jokers, the two of them. If I if I did write a song that 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 Zazlo uh, that Zazlo uh, so claims Gore on the Tragic Dragon during Gore Dragic's worst stretch with the Miami Heat for a little comedic relief. It was it was probably to echo the sentiments of the show that I was producing at the time. Now did Zaslo uh, did did he get did he get uh, reprimanded by the Miami Heat because of said song? Perhaps by somebody on the coaching staff? Maybe, oh. maybe. How- I don't remember that story or not. I don't know. But uh, but if he was reprimanded, it's because it's his show, and you put on the big boy pants, and you represent your show and your takes, just like I do. And my takes on this show have been. Clear since day one ski. I love Goran Dragic. That's my dude. Did I trade him for Kawhi Leonard one time? Yes. We've laughed about it in the locker room. No bigs. But but let me ask you this, Leroy. Let me ask you this. Has anybody, and I mean anybody else, been shamed in front of another nation because they backed Goran Dragic? Who lost no. a bet to an Australian member of parliament? Government in Australia to honor Goran Dragic because they slandered his good name on the floor of government down under. This guy. I jumped in front of the American Airlines Arena in a kangaroo suit and a Ben Simmons jersey to back my guy, Gogi. You want to you hear some of your support? Yeah. Um, let's not beef. forget the Mandalorian was hired to kill Baby Yoda. But once he got to know him, all that changed. Same mm-hmm. with Tobin and Goran. Uh, holy smokes, Tobin is the only man to escape Alcatraz. Yeah. I, I would agree with that. Speaking of reprimands, I remember when we got reprimanded for that uh, Josh McRoberts thing we did. Uh, uh. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Come on. And then he uh, traded him like two weeks later. <laughs> right. You know, I thought that was my dog, Jonathan Zaslo. You know, this is a guy that I produced for back in the day when it was just, it used to be like, yeah, Zaslo show. Uh, take some uh, calls, got some takes, uh, talk about the Marlins. Uh, that was my guy. You know, we talked Glenn Rice, all that stuff back in the day. And then Amber, I mean, my God. You know, uh, you know, filling in for her when I got to uh, on, on the on the tardy occasions, staking on standby because young Cullen needs his caviar in his bottle. Uh, all, all these types of things. I'm there for them. I got their back. You know, I mean, my God, writing headlines every single day. I mean, I don't know what to tell you. You're still giving them headlines. <laughs> still giving them headlines to this day. And Burgundy. My God. <laughs> the United <laughs> Avenger. And this is the way I'm treated disappointing well you know that's that all means. i have hmm? now we have to work with the headlines a little bit more yep it's been a while yeah. hey, be, hey robbie if that if that email doesn't happen to get there uh one day you know just don't just say emails were down well uh, sorry maybe, maybe we should just roll it like that i haven't said anything about it but you're gonna you, you, you know and, and you know what i wouldn't hold a grudge again and say anything but you're gonna question my my, my friendship with my friend, Goran Dragic? Do you know how much the people in Slovenia love me? All right, the, 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 the time and the coverage that I've put into this, this adorable little point guard? How dare you? We all banged. My guy. 